Oh, look, it's me! I'm Mega Man! Yo, what's up, everyone? The begins here with another episode of a, or at least my first episode of a mod review for Minecraft. So don't worry, my channel is not becoming a Minecraft channel. I just finally got it up and running, so let's do this. We'll be exploring the Mega Man Battle Network mod. Yes, I said Mega Man Battle Network, my favorite game series of all time. So let's start off here with the uh, Mega Man armor. Hey, there's a little bit of problem with the uh, tools and uh, the... Cyber Sword inside of the item frames. But that's alright. Because the creator of this mod is still working on it. So let's put this armor on and see how uh, well this does. You see that? That itself gets two and a half. That gives quite a few. Right there, it's already filled up. And there. And check it out! I'm Mega Man! Let's do it, Lin! So, Mega Man, you ready for this mod review? Yeah! Let's go! Anyway, but yeah. Um, the Mega Man armor it goes, uh, extends quite a bit beyond the uh, normal armor bar, making it quite powerful. So, this is the Proto Man armor. As we all know, Proto Man is the coolest character in all of Mega Man. So why wear the Mega Man armor and be lame, when you can wear the Proto Man armor and be super cool? Now I don't know if the Proto Man armor is quite as powerful as the Mega Man armor, or is quite as defensive, but dude, you get to be Proto Man, what more is there to want? Yeah, Chad, what more is there to want? <laughs> anyway. Let's move on to the Roll Armor. For some reason they added Roll and not Gutsman, probably because Gutsman is a huge monster that's worth absolutely nothing. And that just disappeared. So I'll be giving that- oh, there it is. I do not know what happened. Guys. Ah! I should have made the wall taller. Oh well. Anyway. Now if we put on the Roll Armor, Take off that Coolio Proto Man armor. Want that in order? Because of OCD. Let's see. Three. A bit more. Totally full. And it's past full. Now, the roll armor is quite defensive as well. They may all be the same. I wouldn't know. Now, let's check out the weapons. First of all, and tools, I suppose. You've got the. Huh. That is good to know. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. First of all, you got the laser pickaxe. The laser pickaxe is crafted by... Hold up. There seems to be an issue. Hold up. Okay, so I found the problem. The laser pickaxe is in its extended form. However, we have the contracted form of the laser pickaxe. You right click and it turns into a laser pickaxe. Now, to craft the, uh, the laser pickaxe, you will need, let me just... First of all, if you're in creative and do don't have another mod on, you can do this. Go into second world and go into the mega mod love the name for this mod. You can check this, and it's made with three bug frags, a diamond pickaxe, and an iron ingot. You, bug frags are dropped from Matures, which is a mod this, uh, this, a mob this mod adds. <laughs> so, if you're ever looking for bug frags, just go a little mob hunting, and you'll get them. Oh boy. So, these are pretty confusing with how they work. I don't know where that went, just like all of these others. So, let's get the shovel. 
because apparently these like disappearing on me. The laser shovel is just crafted with a diamond shovel, an iron ingot, and a bug fragment. I only I say only when that's pretty expensive, but it's so worth it. But you see, the problem with the item frames, it puts them forward a block and left. Instead of displaying them neatly on them. So here, which I guess it disappeared as well, is the laser hoe. It's crafted just the way you would expect. Iron ingot, diamond hoe, and two bug frags. Let's see if I can get this one. No, I cannot. Okay, the laser axe is crafted with three bug fragments, a diamond axe, and an iron ingot. And here we have the... Uh, oh, I see. I'm in creative. That's why it's not working for me. Let's just fix that. Ash game mode zero. Anyway, that was the bug frag. Just give that to me. That... There we go. Bug frag. The recipe for a bug frag, or sorry, the usage of a bug frag, because they're drops. You can use it in all sorts of things. And uh, basically, this entire mod relies on using bug frags. Now here we have, of course it goes to the other side. Let me just give that to me. Plasma. And plasma is created by just sticking a bug frag in your crafting table. And you see it gives you 64 plasma. I'm not sure if that's intentional to give you that many plasma. But uh, that's what it is right now. And so plasma is used in all of the battle chips. This mod calls them battle cards, but they are essentially battle chips. And this mod does just such a great job in doing those that uh, I, I just love it. Now, as you can see here, we've got quite a few different uh, battle chips. Let me just get rid of these. First of all, we've got Windshot. Windshot is crafted by using four iron ingots and a plasma, and that gives you Windshot. What Windshot will do will, is project a random, well not a random, but you're selected, you know, a mob of choice, and launch them high, high into the air, doing a little Super Smash Bros. Brawl there. I don't believe it does any damage, but it will launch them. Let's avoid those. Let's do it to a horse and see what happens. It has quite a few uses, honestly. And it'll just launch them into the air as many times as you want it to. Until it runs out of uh, uses. Let's go back to the area. Let's see, the second one is the spread shot. Let me just give myself a... You know what? Let's just go into difficulty, make it easy, and let's spawn some matures, shall we? This is a mature. Oh my, and he'll immediately start to attack you. However, I have the armor on, so I am pretty okay. But he is really fast. So let's get it far away from the setup, and spread... Use the... Here's the deal. However, he's not that much... He's not super easy to fight. Because uh, this, of course, this gives you incredibly powerful weapons. It also has to create incredibly powerful mobs. So let's just give me... Huh. Let's see, where is it? Right here. 64 of these. And let's test out the spread shot on it. And that will launch you. Oh, believe me, it'll launch you. And, as the name implies, it spreads. As you can see here when I was testing this mod, this is exactly what happened. It blows up a lot of stuff. And here we have the mini bomb. Now this is 
not fun. Well, it's very fun, actually. But it's really powerful. It's made with a TNT, four plasmas, and four irons. Hold on, I should, uh, show you how these are crafted. You get this one by just putting plasma around an iron ingot, and this, put plasma around a spread shop battle chip. Pretty simple. So, now we can move on to this bad boy right here, the mini bomb. I didn't test if it was strong enough to blow up bedrock. But just watch this. Let's launch it. That's basically the equivalent of at least a t one TNT. Maybe two. I don't know if it's powerful enough to blow up bedrock. Let's test it out, shall we? Oh. Oh, and let's check out the laser pickaxe. Just see how fast this thing is. Much faster than diamond, much stronger than diamond. No, it's not, but the uh, mini bomb is not strong enough to blow up bedrock. Likely neither is this. So, yes, your bedrock buildings will stand, so don't worry, everybody. Let's try out this shovel. It's basically putting you into creative mode with shovel. More like creative mode plus. But this thing will demolish. So, don't you worry your pretty little head about it. And we've got these, Laser Axe, which, likewise, it just cuts down, uh, it cuts down wood about the same pace as the shovel. So let's just put all those back. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, like, probably, is the Laser Blade, is what it's called. What it is, it's a Cyber Sword. Now let's just spawn in a... Matures, let's spawn in a bunch of Matures, shall we? Cyber Sword, whoop, Cyber Sword! Now they're kind of beating me up right here. Now the Cyber Sword is quite powerful. This might not turn out well for me. Now these are in the air for a while. Now before I die, let's just put myself in a creative. I could have just set it to peaceful, but I wanted to show you guys the matures, which is why I set up this neat little area right here, but of course I didn't get to use it. <laughs> Shame. There is a mature, and here's a roaming mature. Nasty creatures. And there you have it, that's basically the mod. Except for one thing, the Mega Buster. You get it by uh, combining a bow, some iron ingots, two bug frags, and a lapis lazuli. Now, with the Mega Buster, it will charge, and it has the exact same sound effect as in the game. Let's see how many it takes to kill a mature. One. Two, three, four. It takes four to kill one mature. And I believe it fires plasma, if I'm not correct. So that's basically the entire mod. So why don't we have some fun with this? And if you go up with just a whole bunch of mini bomb battle chips, you can wreak devastation on your world. Let's see if I can make a Mickey Mouse from here. Close. Yeah! Mickey Mouse in Minecraft. So, 
in this mod you get Mega Man and Mickey Mouse. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the Mega Man Battle Network mod. Link will be in the description down below. Just download it from the thread and enjoy. Because this is probably my favorite mod I've ever seen. And just overall, great. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a like. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, make sure you share this video on Google+, Plus and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. And let me know in the uh, comments if you guys think I should do more mod reviews, more Minecraft, anything. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Good. I wish this gave you a little charge. Dude, thing, but it doesn't. Bye.